All right, y'all. A Fizzle here. Back with y'all once again. Excuse me. Uh, hope everyone's been having a good week. I decided to um, do another edition of Choices. However, I'm not going to do America's Most Eligible anymore. I'm done with that book. They hold with it. They want to... Um, because I already know what's up with their game. Either, you know, when your NC is going... Either they're going to portray your NC as a female or a gay guy. You got no chance to be portrayed as a straight guy in there. So, the hell with that book. So, I'm going to do another book instead. I'm going to see how this goes. High School Stories. I actually did this one off camera. I did the first three books. So, this is the fourth book. So, let's see how it goes. High School Story Class Act. Let's see. They still got Joe Vargas on here still. Chapter one of one, friendship, fun, and romance await. I lost it now. Okay, friendship, fun, and romance await you at Oliver Berry, Oliver M. Berry High School. If you can make it through your first day. It looks like you already play our school story book three. Yes, I have. We say your choices, it, it can carry on to the new volume. Would you like to play those say your choices? Duh. Your choice, wait, yeah, your choices, your choices have been saved. Please choose a face with joy. Me, ah! Please pick a face with joy. Ah, I almost call me joy again. Please pick your face for Joe. I think I have this face. I don't know. Ben Ross is the last play. I last played this game. Oh my god, these choices. I'll go with uh, Queen Cut for now. I don't like any of these choices. Your choices will not carry over to high school story class at book one. We're going to your first day of high school trying to customize a character. I guess he plays a guy. So we're going to have two MCs in. Give me him, I guess. Um, let's pick a hairstyle. These are really bad hairstyles. Oh, okay, we got dreads in. That's what's up. This looks perfect. Yeah, we're not gonna name Maria's ex. I just named that because I thought I have a chance to break up with Maria, but apparently they got my AC still dating her. So, I would name him Kells. That's only not come up with right now. So, first I'm gonna make a game my real last name. I'm wrong too. Uh, Thorn. Just something I make up. It's just something on top of my head. So. It's a warm September morning and you're getting ready for your first day of freshman year. You're not a dork, Kells. You're a cool kid and this year is going to be so cool. Suddenly you hear a voice from behind you. Morning, Kells. Who are you talking to? Twin sister? Uh. Assuming that his original name is going to be Kelly. We'll name her Kelsey. Kelsey, ah, sorry, just figuring out my first day of school. Up. Really, as I recall, you spent a good two hours debating exactly this issue last Tuesday. Well, yeah, but I decided I'm going to audition for the school play, so I need to wear something that will impress the other theater kids. Didn't you say it last year? I might have. What's the point? My point is, you made a huge fuss about mesmerizing that monologue and perfecting that song. Then you decided not to try because you were too shy. 
Okay, but that's all in the past. Kelsey gives you a skeptical shrug. This is a new year, a new school, and a new me. The year where I finally find my real friends. I hope they don't make Joe and Kel's best friends. Which is why I need a perfect outfit. Here your sister laughs but nods. I get it. Just don't make us late, okay? If I get too many Tari's, Coach Shaw can bitch me for a whole game. You play basketball? Okay, okay, I'll see you downstairs. In twin ways and exits, shutting the door behind her, you look through the closet one more time. I must have something that will show the whole world I'm ready to make my mark. <laughs> uh, America's Most Eligible during the bowling um, episode. Dork. Yeah, that's all right. There we go with that sound. You look in the mirror and smile to yourself. You'll do. You don't like the closet. You can now change outfits and hairstyles anytime by tapping the closet button on the bottom right. Look out, Barry. Hi, here comes Kel Thorn. <laughs> Chapter one. New days. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Sorry for making you wait. You're fine. To the bus stop. Please don't say it again. You already sound dark. You already saw backpack into the curb. Into your back. Dash off towards the curb. Girls, wait. You've got the zip. It's too late. You're halfway across your neighbor's lawn. When your backpack flies up and send all your new school supplies flying. Shit. You crouch down to pick up your stuff while your Twitter chuckles. You're dying. You're trying to do off your graphing calculator when someone touches you on the shoulder. You look up and see your next door neighbor hold your box of Incredibles. Incredibles? What the fuck? Oh, um, hi, Rory. It's time to choose a look for you. Uh, why are you trying to make him flirt with the neighbor? I also note that there will be other male. In no, there'll be no. We we're not doing any male interest. Fuck that. Obviously, you plan as a female. If it's gonna, if they go, if it's gonna be like that, it's gonna be a female. And we're, on that, we're not being on that gay shit like America's Most Eligible trying to flirt toward, trying to make uh, UNC flirt towards gay ass nigga. Fuck that shit. Ooh, it's a good option, though. Ew! Get the fuck out of here. We'll make it black. We'll, make, we'll get the first one. First, they all, they all some um, good-looking faces. Rock, Kales. Birds, clouds, gas prices. That's pretty clever. She holds up the box of pencils. Are these yours? Incredibles pencils? No, of course not. Oh, well, uh, I'll take them if you don't want to. I love the Incredibles. Nice one to say I love them too, right? You do? Of course I do. Remember when I used to go to your house every day and watch Pixar movies? No, you probably watching with Kels. You won't watch it with Kels. How can I forget? It was the summer when... Never mind. <laughs> It's cool, and I really appreciate all your family did for me back then. It was a bigger deal than I realized. She starts putting a box of pistols in her purse. No, we actually need those. So they are yours then. Maybe. Okay, okay, here. Rory's hand brushes against yours as she returns the pistols to you. It's a tough high school. Don't be ashamed of who you are. Own it. Right. I see uh, auditions for the Enchanted Kingdom. Yeah, I'm so excited. You're gonna love it. Now I gotta run. It's, they say getting a parking spot as a sophomore is like the Hunger Games. She wants to mean uh, animated movies. Maybe, may the odds be ever your favor. 
Heh, <laughs> she not saying what you're saying. Oh well. <laughs> Kelsey comes up behind you, smirking. I thought you got a Rory years ago. I thought you did too. Get frustrated about uh, get frustrated about pencils. You have a crush. A crush on Rory? I do not. Really? Because that will explain why he's so determined to do the play. That's not the reason. Are you sure? You roll your eyes and stuff the last year somehow back in your backpack. Alright, if you say so. What can, why can't I have a dog instead of a twin? A dog wouldn't know my inner workings. So, ha! Ah, you do have a crush! <laughs> you had to pick up his poop. A small sacrifice for being able to keep secrets. You just say you hear a rumor of him over. Must be the bus. You and Kelsey scramble over to the bus stop and get onto the bus. Thorn, over here! Please don't let him be a love interest. Lorenzo, how you doing? Kelsey and Lorenzo fist bar and sit down together. The only see left, only see left is at the front of the bus next to a small red-headed girl. Uh, mind if I sit here? Yo! Okay, she's not a love interest, thank God. She doesn't work crazy. You sit down and watch as a girl stares, you, stares out the window. Oh, wait. Oh, you did say you mind. Never mind. So she might be a love interest, and I hope not. Bella <laughs> Sun? What the? F That's a weak at. Oh, what about to say? Don't let that be your name. She keeps looking out the window and doesn't say anything more. Okay, nice talking to you. He says silence for the rest of the, of the ride. Finally, you arrive at school. You just get up when the girl speaks. Sky. Sky, like where the clouds are. No, fool. Where they eat, fool. No, sky where they eat. <laughs> Told you. I actually seen this on the choices group on Facebook before I knew, so that's how, that's when she said sky. is like, oh, that's where the sky with the eat jokes come in at. <laughs> Don't call me that. Sorry. Whatever. Bye, Kells. She walks off the bus without another word. You drop off your stuff at, at your locker and head to Theater, at, theater Arts 1, your first class of the day. Work out this to Theater Arts 1. I'm Mr. Olsen, your, your teacher. Now, there's a, syllabus to go, there's a syllabus to go over, but before we get to that, I'd like to jump right to act there and see where you, where you all are. I'm going to partner everyone up, then you and your partner will prepare a short Shakespeare scene and perform for me. He reads off a list of names before getting to Kel Soren and Aaron Ward. What's the pair of with a woman? Smart guy. Tall girl. Mm. No. What I said, what I said tall girl, I want to tell my girl look like this from 1978. Brutus, I do observe you now of late. I have not form I have not for your eyes that gentleness and show of love as I was want to what? God damn Shakespeare, you got some Uh do you by any chance know what this know what the what this means? Yeah, you're saying that you notice that I Brutus have ever been as friendly as, with you as usual lately. I just woke up, so that's why I'm kind of like stopping there in between. So if you wonder, what's the pause for? So, wait, how you know that? Well, partially because I've done Shakespeare before, so I'm a little better at understanding it. No shit, you ask. But mostly because I read Julius Caesar last year in sophomore English. Want to try it again? Uh, I'm not reading that shit again. Fuck that. You got it. Until you read through the rest of the scene a few times before resting. 
So Kel is also good at this, especially for someone who hasn't done Shakespeare before. Are you trying for the Enchanted Kingdom? Yeah. We're gonna get Joe. I wanna see Joe Vargas. That's what I didn't see from the last couple of us. We're gonna get to him. I really wanna play either the King or the Jester. What about you? No, let's try for the King. I mean the Prince, excuse me. Oh, is that the only thing you accept? No white dress. Don't taste the wrong way, Kells, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. Ever since they announced the play, everyone's been everyone's been saying that they're going to cast Joe, then Roy's going to play tonight. <laughs> Who's Joe? Ashley is Pond King, one of the most popular kids in school. Not really. They're going to cast him because, just because he's popular? From what I hear, he's a good actor too, but that is part of it. People are more likely to see the show Joe's Elite. Same Rory, honestly. Last year, a good thought about audience was there because they had crushes on her. I have to find something else to do. I don't know good popularity contest. Don't worry, that's just the leads. The rest of the apartment is, is full of dorks like me. You'll fit right in. He's not a dork. Dorks have more fun. If you say so. You should at least audition. If you hate, you can always decline a role. You make a good point. Besides, I already spent so much time preparing. Mr. Orson calls. Oh, uh, Mr. Or Orson. Mr. Olson calls out from the stage again. Okay, everyone. Do we have any volunteers to read first? Nick, Kells, and I are ready. Okay, then. After more than icebreaker games and re reading syllabi, it's time for the most nerve wracking part of any first day. Lunch. This probably ain't gonna meet Joe. Oh, never mind. Why do you want to switch to Chili's, dog? Wait, really? I thought Chili's be uh, clicky was just something from the movies. Yeah, towards each other. Not towards outsiders. Don't be a cheerleader, dog. You find another table where a girl in gray just is sitting at the court. Oh, sitting at the center. <laughs> oh, Maria. <laughs> Hi there. Are you interested in joining the homecoming committee? Please say no. A guy in green jacket taps you on the shoulder and mouths at you. Actually, I think I'm gonna be too busy. Maybe next year. You shuffle away from the community and look for someone else to sit, but no one's, no, nobody seems to have a seat for you. It's okay, Kells. It's only first day. You won't be sitting on it forever. Fact. You're about to take a seat at the empty table when you see Roy walking by with a tray. You hit one of you guys side with me? Are you talking to me? No, fool. She's talking to the sky. We're not talking about the girl, Sky. We're talking about. Look it up in the sky, Sky. Join Roy for a lunch for a chance. Uh, Join Roy, uh, Joy Roy at lunch for a chance to come in a friendship. May start something more. No, it'll be nothing more. No thanks. I'm not. I'm not trying to go that route. Let's see what other. He ain't lunch alone the first day of school. Let's see what other own love interests out there before we really get down and dirty. You start, you set your stuff down at the table and start eating. As Rory walks away, you notice a couple of other students run up to her. Hey Rory, how was your summer? Did you get a new haircut? Did you go anywhere? I got you the sand dollar from the beach. Not only Clint, thank you, I did, and thank you, I love sand dollars. I was just heading outside to tell you I was very welcome to come along. Now they giggle us cold, quittishly by Clint blushes. Thought you never asked. Oh my gosh, Roy, the funniest thing happened this morning during, during gym class. We were playing dodgeball, and after what feels like an eternity, lunch finally ends, and you pack up for your fifth period class. You 
You're one of the first people at auditions. In fact, the only other person you see is a boy near the stage, furiously make marking up, furiously marking up a copy of the script. You take a deep breath, strain your clothes, and approach him. Hi there, I'm Kels. Is this where the auditions are? Boy looks up in the script. Is that someone on the door? Are you a J, the director? I heard about you from Aaron. Or, or AJ. Or, yes. You reach out and offer him a handshake. It's so nice to meet you. It's my first. You like you push your hand away and shakes his hand. Shakes his head. What is it? I'll tell you this personally, but I really, I don't really have the time. This is by far the most ambitious production I ever directed. And that means I need to give it my full attention. Oh, I get it. You think you're too cool for me. Huh, <laughs> AJ Rose's eyes. I really didn't until you said that. Now please leave me alone, girls. <laughs> oh AJ, go easy on the guy. He's just trying to introduce himself. Damn, please. I can forgive interruptions from a freshman. Oh, well, you of all people should know better. How about this? Kels can help me set up on stage and you can take a chill pill. That's what people say, chill pill. That is so whack, man. Maybe because I wouldn't be caught saying that. That's like one that's like one of the worst things anyone could tell somebody. Take a chill pill. Get the fuck out of here, that shit. Come with me, Kels. You follow Daniel backstage where a few texts of sort of, sort of things. Part of my asking, but do you know, uh, do you live next door to Rory Silva? Yeah, why? I thought I recognized him. You're in the backyard a lot when I'm over. Welcome to the theater department. You let out a breath you didn't realize you were holding. Thanks, you and Rory are friends then? It ought to be. I mean, it gotta be. We had theater class together since middle school, actually. Oh, you must be pretty good. I like to think so, but enough enough about that. AJ is going to kill me if he hears this gospel about Rory rather than getting the stage ready. So, what do you need me to do? There's supposed to be a black theater school big enough to sit on around here somewhere. Can you take a look, can you take a look around? You got it! Shut up. God damn. You look around backstage, but everything fit in Daniel's description turns out to be in a fitness case. You just about to get out when, when Roy comes in. Hey, uh, do you know any of, do you know of any other place where pots and stuff might be stored besides backstage? Try to pour, hey, try to pot room by the door. You find a room near the theater exit for the old furniture and pots. Okay, you must have found it. This has to be the place. Let's see. It'll cute. It'll cute. No, I'm not saying what's that. Fuck that. You scan the room until you sell any spot about the door. Got it! Hey, y'all. Feel the You come with me. By the time you get the cube back to the auditorium and set it in place, several other students are there for auditions, as well as Mr. Olsen. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> Break a leg, Joe. A couple, a couple kisses go by, and Joe walks up to AJ and Mr. Olsen. Okay, I'm ready, whatever you are. Mr. Olsen claps his hands to get everyone's attention. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope y'all had, hope y'all had great first days of school. Welcome to our district of Lieutenant King. I'm Mr. Olsen, a theater teacher. I'm technically in charge, but most of the director will be handled by a student director, AJ. Thanks, Mr. Olsen. Now, as you may know, this proceeds from the show are going to help a local family pay for cancer treatment. I expect you all to behave maturely and remember that this is for, uh, this is for the greater good. Understood? Brothers a yes come from the crowd. Good! Now, I give him Joe permission to go first so that he can get the football papers. Roy, would you be a, so kind of... Uh, uh, whatever, shit. Sure. So I'm all right. Two of them step onto the stage with their script. 
Start the start the top of page sixty seven. Right. Start the top of page sixty seven whenever you're ready. I know it's just a little uh, ah, God damn it. Butchering these words too much. I know it's just a title, but sis, I did save your life. Would you mind giving me my nighthood back? It's kind of a personal thing. It will be an honor. Kneel before this rock. Rory, ne Rory kneels down in front of the field cube. Joe tries to step onto it, man. The cube slides up for under him, sends him flying. Whoa! Joe! Rory moves to catch up, but it is quick enough. Joe lands on his leg. Oh, hell, don't tell me about this leg. He can get Joe's right leg in front. The fire is twisted at two. Why are you sobbing, Joe? Be hard. Why are you being so soft? You have my Ivy now for um, Mexico's most eligible. And your cousin Alyssa for um, the freshman. There's no way that's not broken. I'll call it anyway. I will get the school nurse. A few minutes later, Joe has been sent to the hospital. Does that mean he can't do the show? I'm afraid so. I know Maria's gonna be pissed. Fortunately, I can't break him up, so they still kicking it. Damn it! He just lost one of our most promising actors. I don't think. Do you know how hard it is? School this morning. I don't want to say pick me, pick me. That sounds like childish. Fuck it. Give him a little bat move. I ain't admit it, but you're right. I just don't want to let anyone down. You won't. We'll get through this, and we'll find someone else for the part. I promise. There's a saying about the broken leg at Bear Hill. And it's no, nobody's fault. Right. So what now? So must go on. Oh well, the audition. He takes the theater cue and rolls it off the stage. Let's not use this again. Let us be a lesson to all of you. Never stand on something with swivel wheels. That cue is for sitting. Thank you, AJ. I'm sure none of us will, uh, will forget again. AJ takes a deep breath and adjusts his glasses. Right. For the next couple of hours, AJ and Mr. Olsen call people up to read in different combinations. By my power, I hereby dub the Lady Eve, official knight and protector of Prince Abraham's. What are the spell? Oh, never mind. He did with the accent. I'm not doing it on purpose, I swear. It's just a habit from Alice Wonderland. Wait, this is supposed to be British. Wait, why, lady? Ha! Oh, ha! Aaron? Sorry, you know I can't do romance on a straight face. You should just go on do romance with a female. That's what it is. This kingdom would have been mine had your father cut this promise! While screaming, while screaming is an interesting choice, it's not really the direction we're going for. I thought you wanted me to work on projecting more. Maybe not that much. After a couple hours, it feels like Mr. Olsen and AJ have called up every combination of people possible. Are we free to go soon? I need to pick up my mother from an appointment. Just a few more minutes. There's actually one more combination of people I'd like to see. Mr. Olsen was the son and AJ's here. You think so? Oh, uh, we can't have him try it. Let's read the scene starting on page 24. Rory, you read for the night. Daniel, you're the princess. Kells, wizard. Awesome. You turn your script to the right page and get ready to read. This kingdom would have been mine had your father kept his promise. No, half the kingdom would have been yours had you kept your promise. Never show your face here again, or Princess Abigail and I will make sure you regret it. AJ Motions will cut you off. Thank you. Well done, all of you. Thanks. I always thought Rory and I worked well together. Now, could you continue on, but with Dale, with the witch, and kills us, and kills as a prince? Oh, really? 
Dale's face, uh, Dale's face scrunches up for a split second as if into a scowl, but she quickly hides it. Interesting idea. Okay. The two of you switch places on, on stage and start the scene again. Great words, but you're forgetting the powers I possess. Words were bane and sinner's bile. Hatch dreadful designs until this child to sow your majesty's regret. The night's pure love he see, soon forget. Are you real? Stop. What is that? Let's go wide and your jaw drops in the as you take up the effect of the spell. My love. No Prince Abraham, I. AJ motions to cut Rory off. Thank you. Nice work. All around. This is me, I got the part. Ah, uh, don't, don't get child touch just yet. He looks at Mr. Olsen. Mr. Olsen and I have a lot to consider. Everyone's dismissed. Out in the hallway, Rory comes up to you. Wow, Kels. That was some great work. I wouldn't be at all surprised if you were cast as a prince. Yeah, but you're even better. Rory shrugs. Who knows? We were in for different parts. Hey, if you get the prince and I get the knight, then we'll be co stars. That would be so much fun, like old times when we played pretend together. Well, Kels, I do have to get going, but I'm so excited for you. Thanks, Rory. Rory waves goodbye and heads for the company. I don't like that name, Rory. I, I wish I could have seen that. You head to your locker to pack up your bag when you know you hear someone walk up behind you. You turn to see Daniel. Hey, really nice job reading for the evil wizard today. Her smile drops with sarcasm. Gee, thanks. I'm just happy to be a cast. Setting realistic goals. That's very admirable. I guess we'll see you soon tomorrow morning. Daniel smirks. Best of luck, Billy. Really, I mean it. I see you do. Oh, and I'm really sorry about what happened with Joe. But don't worry what anyone says. It could happen to anyone. Tell me info. Oh, no. oh, you set up Joe. All right. She gives you a slightly too, uh, too wide grin before starting away. Oh, boy. What I got myself into. This chapter over. Who has you on forever? Next to my high school story, AJ posts a cast list, but did you get the lead? Or did they not? We already know it's going to be on the MC. What else is new? But that's going to do it for this chapter. So I'll see y'all later and y'all take care.